Hey guys, Talk here back with another video. This is more of an explanation on my blending in MS Paint. First off, this is not scripted, so my apologies in advance. So, some of you guys are like, hey, it's not working, so I just kind of wanted to clear things up maybe a little bit about that, just so I can help you guys a bit. So, when I did the marker tool, so, marker tool, I went into the marker tool, and you can see some of my methods in my Mermaid Speed Paint and MS Paint. Look at that, just for reference on what I'm doing, so you have a better idea of how it works. So, first off, you're not going to get a smooth, perfect gradient. Do not expect a per perfect, smooth gradient. That's not complete what it's, completely what it's for, but so you can get a more blended look in MS Paint, so you can kind of blend if you, if you can understand that. So, what it works best, best with is this marker tool and this pencil tool. Do not use this one use this one. So what you do is you want to lay your base color and then you lay another base color and you can also do this with the colored pencil tool. And you see that little midsection? You get that and you go in with your colored pencil. But I like to size mine big with these. And then you do this and then you notice, okay, it's more visible with this. But do you see these little in-between sections here, like right here? You select that because that will blend in better with that. And you see this little in between section? You do that. And you keep selecting these in between sections until you get a semi nice gradient. Now, it's not really much of a gradient. You're not going to get an extremely smooth gradient, gradient like you might get in a program like Fire Alpaca. This will definitely be more of a choppy gradient. This will definitely have a sort of smooth effect to it if you're looking for a smooth effect. I'm not completely sure how to help you there. There are probably videos out there on this subject, but yeah, I don't, I don't hold the necessary information. Maybe this lighter, this lighter green color you want to go in with that, you can do that. And then you can select a little bit more of that. And you see that? Do you see these little in-between colors? You just got to keep selecting until you get the sort of blend that you are desiring and once you get that done you should have what you've been looking for or what you were trying to achieve um that's basically how i do it and this can work with a variety of different colors say i i wanted to add some a little bit of pink right in the middle here i could blend that in there if i really felt like it it would take a little bit longer but you can definitely blend it counter kind of blend it in if you really feel like it and it might take a little bit more effort but once you keep working at it you should be able to get a sort of blend between the two as you are looking for so you can even blend a little bit of a pink in there or maybe even more of a yellow as you could well it's not, not really yellow it's more of a yellowy green but you can just kind of blend it in here until you get the desired color that you're looking for or desired blend within these. And it will take a while. Um, it's not going to be very easy on a mouse, but I know it is possible. It's just very difficult. I know you can actually achieve some decent stuff with the mouse. I've done it before, but it definitely takes quite a while. It will take you a few hours, so be prepared for that. It's not going to be just a bam, I'm done. It's going to take Quite a while. So you just gotta keep blending in there until you get the desired color, like I keep saying. And maybe zoom in if you can't really see the midtones too well. Just gotta well, not really midtones, the uh in between colors really not really midtones. <laughs> what am I saying? It might be eh, brush up on color here a little bit, but you just gotta keep going. Just gotta keep laying in that color until you just get what you want. And it shouldn't be too difficult. And yeah. Basically, all you gotta do is keep going at it, keep working, and then you'll get the desired color effect. And if you zoom out, that's what you get. Not a perfect blend, but it's close enough for me. For MS Paint especially, it's definitely close enough. And that's how you would do it. It's not gonna be perfect. Um, can it work with other brushes? Sure, if you really want it to. It's not gonna work the best because some of these brushes do this thing here where they stop as if you've like run out of water on your brush. Uh, I don't really recommend those. I mean, I'm sure there's ways to do that with these brushes, but they're definitely not my favorite to use. 
I much prefer these this colored pencil texture, like the one that's like this. Do not use this. And if you're going to do with pixels, things with pixels, you just gotta find the colors that might be in between these two. Like think about the colors that might be in between this yellow and this brownish tone. Just think about the colors that are in between there and try selecting a color that might be more like what's in between. Like this might be sort of what's in between. And then maybe if you do that, it might be something that's in between. If that makes sense. It's not really that good. You're gonna have to really, really work at it and find colors that will be like more in between those two colors or that might shade it better, maybe like a complementary color, like sneak that in there, that can help too. Um, I can't really say too much on pixel art, but I can definitely say if you want a painterly look, you can do this. And like I said, I have a Mermaid, Mermaid Microsoft Paint Speed Paint on my channel, and you can just look at that for reference if you want to see how it really works in action. So I hope this little bit of an explanation helps, or just like a further thing, further thing with MS Paint. Talk signing out.